In this day and age, people seem to forget that the most basic human right of all is the right to believe. No prayers, no moments of silence, nothing. Think of the other children out there who are subjected to their repressive belief system. If we sit by and do nothing, the pressure that we're feeling today will mean persecution tomorrow. We're at war. What makes nonviolence so radical is its unwavering commitment to a nonviolent approach. Isn't that sort of like what Jesus meant when he said that we should love our enemies? Yes. You have heard it said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. One of your students sent a text to their parents. Did this happen? If you're asking whether I responded to a student's question, yes. And your answer incorporated the words of Jesus. What were you thinking, Grace? The Thollies are asking that you be fired, plus revocation of your teaching certificate. How do we make this go away and not get blood on our hands? We let the ACLU do it. We're going to prove once and for all that God is dead. Nor in the matter of Thawley versus Wesley. Mr. Kane will insist faith isn't on trial here. But that is exactly what is on trial. You're looking to prove that Jesus Christ existed? Oh, that's ridiculous. I hate what people like your clients stand for and what they're doing to our society. You're under arrest. These people, they're looking to destroy you. Everyone's telling me to stay out of it. What is your heart telling you to do? I would rather stand with God and be judged by the world than stand with the world and be judged by God. I am not going to be afraid to say the name Jesus. If we're going to insist that a Christian's right to believe is subordinate to all other rights, then it's not a right. Mr. Inland, you are out of order. I charge you with contempt. I accept the charge because I have nothing but contempt for these proceedings. God's not dead. He's surely alive. He's living.